Hello and welcome back to the fifth episode of Speedrunning the Grind. In the last episode we played in Pietr Veliki and unfortunately our first game was a loss, but even so we earned 15,000 experience. Past that point, off screen we had three further games which brought us over our 50,000 XP target and brings our total number of games up to 11. Today we are going to be playing in Ismail, the tier 6 Russian battleship, and we're going to start working towards sign up. This is going to require 97,000 experience to research the upgraded hull and ship. In the last 4 battles grinding towards Ismail, from the screenshots earlier we earned over 16,500 free experience. Alongside this, all previous games earned around 10,000, so that totals to around 26,000 free experience, which will allow us to research the upgraded fire control systems as well as the hull. So our first game should be much easier to play than these previous games have, and as well as this, this is going to mean we're only going to need 80,000 XP for the sign up, so this next ship grind should be a little easier. Now with that slightly longer than usual rundown covered, we'll start our first game. Okay, so we are in our first battle. Now, thankfully, we are middle tier, so we're not going to be on either side of the spectrum. It would be nice if we were top tier and good seal club, but either way, I'm not going to complain at being middle tier because it means we're not going to be horribly overpowered by anything with, you know, severely outmatching us or outclassing us if uh, we were going against, say, tier 8s or something. But overall, it looks quite nice. Now, as I say, this is the first time going down this line, so I don't know entirely what to expect from this ship. I mean, I know Ismail is quite a powerful one from what I've seen, and I've seen a couple of people playing it, and overall it does look quite good, so this will be interesting to play. Now, like the previous videos, what I'm running with the, well, not the consumables, with the flags as well as the camo, granted that we get a win, we should get 625,000 experience, th thousand, uh, percent, sorry, uh, so that should give us quite a few extra thousand on that, and at the same time as well, we've got a pretty standard battleship build with we're just going for mainly a survival one, so we've gone for both the damage control systems just because you've got limited consumables, you can see F4, so I want to really leave using those the last minute if possible, just, just well, for the fact of I don't have many, so this one definitely is essential to go for the captain skills to get that number up, and then the actual captain itself, we've only got a 6 point, but with the amount of flags we've got equipped, or signals, sorry, that should be pretty easy to grind up, especially since we're going to probably need a few more games in this unless we perform pretty well. Now, I'm quite glad that I did free XP the... Oh, hello. Uh, it's looking, hopefully, like... Ah, it appears that... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. When you have a new ship, it doesn't... Uh... Yeah, okay. You know what? That's fine. We only hit two shells anyway, so I'm not too sure whether we would... Oh, it depends there. Okay, yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, we're going to load some armor piercing now and hopefully we'll hit some of the other cruisers because, yeah, there's a surprising number. Oh, okay, it looks like most of them are on the other side, so I think this should be a little bit easier to hold. Yeah, I'm going to start turning this way, actually, because it doesn't look like there's going to be too much to really deal with on this side of the map, and I want to have quite... Well, I want to do as much damage as I possibly can just for the fact of the more, the more damage we can do, the more percentage we can take off ships, the more actual XP we can earn, but it would also be nice maybe to get some caps, so I'm going to start going this way and head towards the middle of the map to see if I can hit some of these higher tier ships, because at the same time, if you hit anything higher tier than you, then you do, I believe you do get a slight modifier on that too. Now, even though we have got the fully upgraded ship, yeah, still 17k, so it's definitely pretty good that we did free XP this, because it's going to make life a little bit easier, so it definitely seems like that's quite essential. Now, the Peter Vilki, he's going around this way. Oh, okay, the uh, Monte Broccoli is going over there. We're going to try and confirm the kill. As you can see, there's also other shells coming behind it, but unless we get bad dispersion... Ah, uh, yeah, someone else is getting... Someone else is not getting that. Okay, okay. I'm turning my guns. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to actually secure the kill. It would be nice to get a bit of damage. May as well. Okay, I'm surprised that went through the island, then. That's quite nice. Hopefully we'll get something there, our rudder is turning. Yep, we've secured the kill, just wanted to just get a couple of hits there. It's just a shame that we didn't really get to make the most of that initial engagement we have, because, well, we could have could have probably done a much higher amount of damage, but that's that's not a problem. And yeah, the one battleship over there is going to be dealt with pretty easily. I mean, yeah, the Nelson should be able to deal with them, especially with those two causing there too. And yeah, we've actually got a Geniser now, which is hopefully going to be giving us a lot more uh, opportunity over this side of the map because there are quite a few more ships. I mean, I can't currently see any 
Are they destroyers? As it would be good to shoot some destroyers. And okay, that's that's the Geniser now, and can't see anyone shooting them at the moment. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna aim in, and the Geniser now does go rather fast. So probably aim around about here. I think that's looking okay. He did seem to, like he was about to start turning. Uh, oh yeah, he's actually returning fire. How are these looking? Okay, good. Nice 9,000 damage salvo there. Pretty good. The AP on this does seem to be quite nice. Uh, we'll see what happens when we get a bit close, because that was at the extent of our range. But if we can get a bit close, we'll see if that improves even more or is no different. Uh, okay, 7 seconds. We're going to slow down, because he's going this side. So it would be nice to get a hit on him. Uh, okay. Let's just... Ooh, turn, okay, it appears they are turning in. I'm going to shoot there. I think someone's going to hit the... No, no, they didn't hit the island. That's good. They okay, turn into those, maybe. All right, another... another. Wow, that was five hits there. That's quite surprising. Good. We're taking this guy down quite fast, and considering... Yeah, okay, so he is a tier high menace. That was, that was quite good. Oh, we do have a Z39 there as well. If we can get some hits on him, that would be really good for us, just for the fact of we'd be able to get a lot more XP if we can do a nice chunk of damage to him. But I am going to start kiting away because even though we're damaging this guy, it's, you know, if, if he starts returning fire, we are going to feel it. He does have some pretty nice guns on there, so I'm going to try and kite away. Uh, it looks like he's shot an island, which is good. Uh, these are his secondaries coming in. It does appear... Oh, there we go. Just on cue. Let's see how much we can do to this guy. I... I'm going to take that. Nine hits. That was some really nice dispersion there. I'm quite happy with that. Um, okay, cool. Now we're probably going to go for this Geniser now instead because he's going to be hiding behind there. So keep the armor piercing loaded. And it seems like armor piercing does seem to be the ammunition type of choice with these ships as it's doing really quite a lot of work on this guy. Now his secondaries are opening up onto me at the moment, but that's not really an issue. We've not even been set on fire yet, but we probably are going to be very shortly. Oh, those are the torpedoes, and... Ah, oh, that is a shame. Just got knocked out as we... Please don't set up flood. Okay, flooded. That is a shame. And that is going to mean we're not going to be able to... Oh, Ooh, that is also not good. I hope he doesn't get to launch his torpedo, because we are probably going to get flooded if he hits our stern. Can we get forward a bit more, please? That's an island. Ah, oh, okay, well, we've been set on fire, that's not an issue. Fires are a lot easier to mitigate than flooded. Well, torpedo damage, repairing that, yeah, well, you, you saw there was barely anything we could repair from that, so I'm I'm much happier with how this how this scenario has, has worked out. Okay, unfortunately, this Zed is going to be dropping more torpedoes on us. If we could just get our guns turning enough, that would be great, because I really want to... But fire, okay, we do have two fires going. We are going to have to use another damage control consumable. But we are going to keep on damaging this guy just to get a bit more. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. I'm going to have to start running away shortly, though, because we are we are taking on quite a bit of damage here. Okay, going to fire there. Hopefully he turns into that. Okay, that's, that's completely fine with me. We got that, but we are going to need to start running away. Now there's a Kavor over here as well. If we can... Yeah, not as quick. We're going to fire a little bit close here. Hopefully sails into those. And now I'm going to start turning my rudder left. And hopefully we can possibly escape, which would be good. Any more hits? Okay, nice, nice. Another hit there. 42,000, but this game is looking like a loss. So I do need to try and do something because it's, it's not looking good for us. The other side of the map is pushing, but... I think I'm just going to need to stay alive here to really do anything and impact this game. And so if I can heal up and take these these other ships on more on a one by one sort of basis than taking an entire flank, then we may have a slightly easier time of it. But we do have two destroyers. One of them is accounted for over in the B camp, but the mass is that's a little bit of a scary proposition because I don't know where that is at the moment. So now we're just going to try and shoot this lazo. I'm hoping they've slowed down because they've seen where I'm going to. I'm actually going to pop this repair party. Please don't set me on fire. Uh, of course, we'd be set on fire. Yeah, this is definitely going to be something I'm going to need to invest in is to actually get a couple more repair parties from 
on this because four really didn't seem like enough and yeah we're gonna have to pop that almost straight away Ah, okay and just as i was speaking about them there is the mass come on please don't set me on fire okay good thing we've still got the damage control active and if we can keep these other ships between us and this island i'm going to have a good chance of running away and maybe getting oh no okay that's that doesn't look like to be the case i'm gonna Chuck some shots off at this mass who may slow it down here. Okay, yeah, this is looking rather bad. This mass is dodging our shells incredibly well here, and we are just we're being slaughtered, really, quite frankly. We're taking shots from six different ships, which isn't isn't the most fun. If we could if we get a, another 40 seconds or so in this game, that'd be rather nice, as we may have we may have chance to repair, but it does not seem like that is gonna be the case. Yep, there we go, and we have been knocked out, and now it really is just a fact of the rest of the team. We've got three ships versus seven. I'm always certain this is going to be a loss, but hey, we will see in a few minutes' time. Right, so that game did unfortunately end with a loss. However, the last three ships alive really put up an incredible fight, so I have given all of those a plus one, as well as the top guy on the enemy team. Now, in terms of our performance, we only did 57,000 damage, but even that on a loss still managed to get us 9,000, basically 10,000 experience, which is incredibly good. So I'm going to keep on playing these like I did in the previous ship, and then I'm just going to post those in the next video when we move on to the, the actual sign up, and then show all the results that we've got there. So for this game, though, if we look on the team score, we did come second place, which is quite nice, exactly the same as the Nelson. Gave him a plus one just because he played incredibly well. It's same with the Emerald and Furious. They put up a pretty good fight. And this Lazo did manage to get a Kraken. So, of course, I had to give him a plus one too. So, detailed report. So, you can see here. Yeah, you can see the damage to the destroyers there. That definitely will have had a pretty big impact on our XP there. Which is certainly going to help. And then quick run down here. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. 9,979 overall. Very, very good. Yeah, in modifiers... 8,512. I'd say that's very good. But yeah, that's that's really it from this game. Overall, it seems that uh, Ismail is an incredibly powerful ship, and I'm looking forward to playing more games in it. Hopefully on a win, I may be able to get 20,000 XP if I have a good game, and that will hopefully propel us into the next tier a lot quicker than we could hope for, but we'll see in the next episode. So I'm going to get through and start playing those and get to the next ship. So hopefully I will see you in about a week or so when I have the next video. So with all that said, I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.